I was born in 1976. Disco, I assume. Music making. I've tried to keep it both as a, as a profession and as a hobby. Jean Sibelius. Um, I used to have a festival very near his, his house and we would play concerts in his living room. So the, the caretaker of, of the building, her, her number is, my, in, is in my phone as the phone number of Jean Sibelius because that's where the phone is in that, in that house. Yeah. Read reviews of concerts. Coffee machine. Fire alarm at the hotel at three in the morning. Architecture. Um, I think I was going to be in competitive uh, bicycling. It's a tie between Johann Sebastian Bach and, and Svend Asmussen. Do you know Svend Asmussen? Svend Asmussen um, was the most phenomenal jazz violinist. Um, a, a violinist of extreme sensitivity and, and very, very high artistic caliber, but with an ability to play violin in a way that never sounds stressful, never sounds tight. All the notes have kind of space inside of them and room to breathe. And uh, my understanding is that he was the nicest person and you can really hear it in his playing. The character of his playing mirrors his personality, which I think is what we all should aim for. Ooh, yes, absolutely. I would say it's half, half full and I, I'm looking for ways to, to <laughs> fill it up. Let's say, I, let's say that I try to use as many fingers as possible in my, my typing. I would get a, a chunk of salmon and I would put it in the uh, smoker and, you know, just boil some, some, some vegetables, some potatoes, get some pickled herring for a starter, some vodka, that kind of thing. I'm quite convinced there isn't one. Um, I like a good sauna. I try to write music if, if I come up with an idea for a piece of music or for a song cycle or something and then I just sit down and, and, and write it. It's, it's, that's kind of my, my stress toy. I think it must have been Rasputin by Boney M, the, the, uh, the pop group. I was three. It changes. I try, of course, yeah, like you, you, you try to make it so that whatever music you're playing is your favorite music and whoever you're playing with are your favorite people to work with. Not really, no. Sometimes I feel like we are worried about the future of classical music in a way that our existing audiences might start to feel unwelcome and that we are trying to sort of mask the profession or the art form itself as something very easy to access, even in the cases where it isn't. But it feels like we are sort of trying to narrow down to make everything we do seem really sort of easy, fun and simple exactly when the rest of the world is going into in a much more sort of detailed, grainy, interesting direction. So I think the future for us, I hope it would be that we kind of embrace the, the complexity and the weirdness of our profession and the universe of music that we have, rather than trying to make it too simple, if you know what I mean.
That's my five cents.